I'm a basic bitch, so uh, let's get this video started, okay? <laughs> Today I'm here with a super exciting announcement. If you guys were unaware, the spring round of the Emojiathon is coming up this March and this round I was asked by Dylan to be one of the hosts. So I'm super excited to get to be a host and I really hope that you all participate. The other three hosts are obviously Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling, and Brittany from Book Nook Brit. So I'll leave all their links down below if you guys want to go check them out because they're all amazing people. Julie from Pages and Pens is who was hosting before I was asked, but she decided to take a step back this round, so Dylan asked me instead. So I mean, like, sad to see Julie go, but also, like, really happy that I get to host this time around. I mean, like, win lose I don't know I mean like I'm happy but sad at the same time we also have a Twitter which I will link down below I believe it's just at emojiathon but it'll be linked down below so check out all the links in the description box if you want more information so if you guys were unaware the emojiathon is a month-long readathon where there's a bunch of challenges and the whole point of it is to just complete as many challenges as you can. There's a total of 25 challenges you guys can try to complete which are all in a Google Doc that I'll leave linked below. I'm also going to go through them in this video just so you guys are aware of them. So without further ado, let us get started! So the first emoji is the taco emoji and this is to read Dylan's choice of book which is obviously We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson which like good book, highly recommend, y'all read it. The second emoji is the little shrugging girl emoji and this is to read a book that you haven't read yet and you don't know why. The next Next is a brain emoji and this is to read a mental health book. Next is a soccer ball and it is to read a book that involves sports. Next is the car emoji and it is to read a travel or road trip book. Next is the two people holding hands and that is to buddy read a book. This is the avocado emoji which is to read Britney's choice of book which is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Next is the like little caution sign emoji and it is to read a book that you're cautious to start so a book that's out of your comfort zone. Next is the graduation cap and that is to read a non fiction book. Next is the peace sign and that is to read a book that is diverse. Next is the headphones and that is to listen to an audiobook. Next is the little like camera film emoji thing and that's to read a book that has been adapted. Then there is the book stack and that is to read basically whatever you want. It's just a freebie. Next is the little wizard emoji and that is to read a fantasy book. Then the iPhone emoji is to read a ebook. Then the little like shouting guy is to read a book that everybody's been telling you to read. Next is the hourglass emoji and that is to read a book that you have started but haven't finished yet. Next is the little grandma emoji and that is to read a book that is older than you. Then the purple heart emoji was originally Julie's emoji, but since I'm the new host, that is now my emoji, and you are to read Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. It's a heck of good thriller book, I'm just saying, so read it. Next is the sunglasses emoji, and that is to read a book that you've never heard of or read an indie author book. Next is the little alien, and that is to read a sci-fi book. Then the detective emoji is to read a thriller or mystery novel. Then the little, like, paint easel, paint palette, I don't know what it's called, but that is <laughs> to read a book with your favorite color on the cover. Then the, like, 18 with the slash through it is to read a smutty or new adult book. And then finally, the last challenge is the poop emoji and that is to read Chelsea's book. It should be pretty obvious that it is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. So those are all the challenges that you guys can try to complete for this round of Emojiathon. We also created, well I didn't create, the other hosts created a bingo board that you guys can try to use and create as many bingos as you can by the end of March. I think it's going to be a super fun aspect of the readathon, so I'm super excited to use it. All right, guys, so I really hope that you join our little readathon for the month of March. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see everybody's TVRs and wrap ups, and I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.